What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most powerful weapons in all of Fallout 76 for explosive builds. We have the auto grenade launcher. Starting off over in our weapon, this is it. This is my three-star legendary auto grenade launcher that we're using for the video. And the main legendary effect is the two-shot effect, which is shoots an additional projectile, has the VATS critical hits do plus 50% to damage, and it also has a 15% faster reload. This weapon is absolutely insane for auto grenade launchers. And the mods that we're using with it is the heavy barrel, standard grip, blood eagle paint, and the standard sight. Now over in our demonstrations with our all-powerful auto grenade launcher we've made our way to the one the only the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of fred i'm just gonna sit back here and i'm gonna shoot a couple times okay maybe i should aim up just a tad bit there we go a little bit further absolutely amazing let me just rain hell a little bit all right fantastic how you like that freddy boy and Fred the Behemoth is no more. Our next Wasteland Sickos on the list that want to feel the wrath of the auto grenade launcher is all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. We're going to start with this guy right here. Goodbye, you stupid super mutant. What about this guy over here? Okay, I completely missed. The only thing I can't really judge is the distance these grenades are going unless I shoot it in vats. And even then, I may miss. What about that one? Oh, we hit him. Kobe! Got another exploding guy over here, but my explosions are worse. Look at that dog. One shot. One shot. Everyone knows the rules. Okay, another one. One shot. Everyone knows the rules. Get out of here, you stupid super mutant. Oh, God. We got one right back here. Can we one shot him? One shot. Everyone knows the rules. And we did. We most definitely did. We one shotted both of those guys. This weapon is absolutely insane. And the defense of this build is even better. Look at that. All right, let's do those vat shots to the stomach. One shot and he's dead. What about the guy behind him? Did he die also? He did. Now we've made our way to one of the most foul creatures in all of Appalachia. We have the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. We're gonna lock onto that torso real quick. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Just a couple shots to get this battle going. Okay, she hit me with the poison. Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got, Myler Queen? I'll bombard you from the sky. I think I need to reload. Nope, we still got five. I probably shouldn't have reloaded then, but hey, we're okay with that faster reload. Are we not? Are we not? And looky there, our poor, poor Myler Queen is gonna be a Myler Stew. Over the build, these are the base stats to make up the in-game explosive build that we were using for the video, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game explosive build. Starting off in strength, we have 4, and this one can have Traveling Pharmacy at 1 star. Weights of all camps, including stim packs, are reduced by 30%. We have Blocker maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the Commando cards maxed out. Now, this is a hybrid build due to explosive weapons only needing the Demo Expert card to get damage out of them. So if you can, I recommend you throwing another build on top of that like the commando build like I did. We have tank killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrate fire at 1 star. Vats now targets limbs. Focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. We have grenadier maxed out. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius and this makes our explosions with explosive weapons massive. Over in endurance, we have 9 and this one can have life giver at 1 star. Gain a total of plus 15 to your maximum health. We have kinfeen maxed out. Any kims you take lasts 100% longer and we did take overdrive and psycho tats in this video. We have fireproof maxed out. Out, take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out. The greater the rads, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Field Surgeon maxed out. Stim packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange and Numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 8, and this one can have Nerd Rage maxed out. Wall Blow 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We of course have Demolition an expert maxed out. Your explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points are generate 45% faster. We have Mr. Same maxed out. At night, your silence weapons do an additional 100% sneak attack damage. We have Gunfu maxed out. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20%, then 30% to damage to your next three targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 2 stars. Avoid 20% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck, we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode and ignore red paste. We have better criticals maxed out. Vats criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage, no PvP. We have four leaf clover at one star. Each hit in Vats has an excellent chance to fill your critical meter. We have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. And we have critical savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. Now this is the entire build that I was using for the demonstrations, but if you were just to go with the grenade 
launcher, all you need is a demo expert card to get the max amount of damage out of it. Over in the legendary pair cards, these are the legendary pair cards that make up our in-game build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out, strength at three stars, luck at three stars, electric absorption at one star, and taking one for the team maxed out. These are the legendary pair cards. Now let's get into my armor, mutations, and buffs. Starting off with the armor, what we're using is a full set of Overeaters T65 power armor. And the reason we go with the Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. And we did eat a perfect bubblegum, so our hunger and thirst meters were filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we're using for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Sky Skin, and Speed Demon. Now over in our food and kin buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we have Mutt Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility. We have Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength. Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP. Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage. Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception. And of course, a perfect bubblegum. That way, hunger and thirst meters do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, we have Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage. And we have Psychotats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception. Damage resistance increase and damage plus 11%. Now, if you take them Overdrive and Psychotats, you can stack these. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the most powerful missile launchers in all of Fall 76. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it the screen right now. You see that? That is my missile launcher video. Ha, ha, ha.